Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use Project Muse. Project Muse is a multi-subject database focusing on the arts and humanities. To access Project Muse, start at the library homepage, which you can access via Google by typing in CPP Library. On the library homepage, you're going to navigate to the button marked Databases here. This will take us to an alphabetical listing of all our databases. As Project Muse starts with a P, we will click on the letter P and then scroll down to the link for Project Muse and click on it. Clicking on the link takes you to the advanced search page for Project Muse. One of the nice things about this database is that everything in it is peer-reviewed, so you won't need to set a peer-reviewed limiter before you do a search. Let's say we're interested in articles written about second language acquisition published during the last five years. So let's do a search for second language acquisition. Okay, we get over 9,000 results and they're all over the map. So the first thing we're going to do is use the filters on the left-hand side of the screen. So scrolling down, first thing we're going to do is on the content type filter, check off journal articles. That gives us about 7,000 some odd results. Now let's scroll down to the research area filter. And we're going to choose language and linguistics. So we're going to check that box, which is going to reduce us to about 600 some odd results. Finally, we're going to scroll down one more time. Yeah, there's a lot of scrolling with this database to the publication year filter. And we're going to select the last five years. Now that cuts us down to about 169 results, which is pretty good. So let's have a look at one of these results. The role of indirect positive evidence in syntactic acquisition. All right. Now, which will take us into the record for this article. Now, if we scroll down just a little, you can see the abstract, which summarizes the article, allowing you to determine whether or not it is relevant to your research. If you keep scrolling, you'll actually see a digital preview of the article. Scrolling up, if you click on the View Citation link, it will provide you with examples of how to cite this article in a variety of different citation styles. If you want to download a PDF copy of this article, you click on the download link here, which will provide you with a copy of the article that you can save, print, or do with as you like. So that's the basics of finding an article in Project Muse. Pretty easy, isn't it? If you find an article in Project Muse that we don't have access to, Check out the document delivery tutorial, which will show you how to request that article. If you have any other questions, please contact us for assistance. You can contact reference librarians at libraryhelp, one word, at cpp.edu, or call the reference desk at 909-869-3084. Thank you for watching.